then connect this card to your router so we are done now your computer is connected to the router so of course you need a little of more configuration so let me start my router right click on the router start and then after that right click console now while my router is booting up and coming up I go to uh, network sh and sharing center your adapter settings and here is your Microsoft loopback right click on it properties and assign one IP address to this loopback address whatever IP address that you want so I choose IP version 4 properties here I assign one IP address for example 192.168.1.2 and default gateway I give 192.168.1.2 that one now this default gateway will be the address of your router that you're going to configure shortly so now my router is up and I just need to get access uh, since I haven't created the idle PC I think it's a bit slow and it uses a lot of resources of my system as you can see here almost 60 percent also oh, it's fine uh, still I don't need to create a, a idle PC because uh, if you bring in another router then you need to create that idle PC so for now since I'm using just one router it should be okay but still it takes a bit of time to load it all right now my router is up just I need to check which Ethernet port I'm using so fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 is connected to this uh, loopback adapter of my computer so let me go enable go to global configurations then interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 I will assign this IP address 192.168.1.1 remember that this address is the one that I assigned to my loopback adapters default gateway and then 255.255.255.0 is my subnet mask and then after that we bring the interface up by typing no shutdown now my interface is up and I've assigned the IP address to that so I should be able to ping this router from my computer now we go to command prompt I type ping 192.168.1.1 and sure enough you see that I can get a reply from my router if I go to the router and I ping my computer we go to privilege mode and we type ping 192.168.1.2 I should be able to ping my computer if you are not able to ping your computer like mine it's because your firewall is on if you turn off your firewall then you will be able to ping the computer from your router so I'm just gonna pause the video I bring in uh, my firewall then I show you I off it and then I ping and it works okay I thought it's better to show you how to turn off the firewall so for that purpose we go to control panel system and security Windows firewall and here I turn Windows firewall on and off now the firewall is on so I'm gonna off it then we turn this firewall off for public and home network click OK so for now the firewall is off then I'm gonna go to the router and ping 192.168.1.2 again and you see that 
success rate is 100% and we were able to ping our uh, computer from our router and we are able to ping our router from our computer. So in this way you can connect your GNS3 to uh, a route uh, to, uh, to your physical computer. So it's better to turn on your firewall again before you forget it. Now the firewall is on. So after this you're not able to ping your computer again. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this video is helpful for you and thank you for watching.